Eddie Jones has been relieved of his duties by the Rugby Football Union. It was only in March that they said, yes, it's all going well under Eddie. Everything's fine. It's all going to be OK. And now, of course, they've changed track. It's a tough job. You know, coaching England is, is tough. Eddie would be the first to tell them that. I love my mother ringing me up in the morning saying, are you getting sacked? You're going to get sacked. You're going to get sacked. When are they going to sack you? When do you have to move? Are you going to come back to Australia? I don't mind it because I made the choice to take the job, you know, and, and that's always going to happen because there's a, factuation, a fat, fatuation with sacking coaches now, isn't it? Results in the autumn weren't very good, were they? In the end, though, it was that South African game. It wasn't so much the result, but it was the booing at the end. It was the way they played. It was the, it was just the lack of all those things that I think an English uh, crowd want to see at Twickenham. They want to be lifted off their seats with excitement. They want to obviously <laughs> get a result or two. And I think several circumstances combined, but in the end, as every coach will tell you, results really matter. Yeah, there's opportunity to build something special here. And when he started, couldn't do anything wrong. 18 wins in, the, in a row. England hadn't really seen that before. They'd come off the back of the 2015 World Cup. They were in a real hole. Eddie dug them out of it and, and more. Well, I think one of the things you've got to do is, is create your own unique style of play. You know, I, I want the players to believe in how England want to play. They went to Australia. They won series over there. Everything in the garden, you could argue, was rosy as far as the RFU were concerned. They got the 2019 World Cup again. Could they do it? They played so well against New Zealand in that, that semi-final. It was collective. It was They knew what they were doing. They, they took the All Blacks apart. Got to the final. It went pear-shaped. Fair play to the, the South Africans. They deserved to win. But it, it it was a jolt. And I don't think, in retrospect, England ever really recovered. They certainly never recovered that consistency. They had a very good win away in Dublin. They've had the odd result here and there. They won in Australia just this last summer. But it was always highs and lows. There was always, you got to, got to say, a, a little bit of lack of coherence in terms of selection. 112 different players picked pick for England by Jones. Now, no, not a problem with trying people out, but in the right positions, the right people, the right time, the right combinations, always seem to be a little bit elusive. So it'll be remembered for absolutely mega highs. The, the lows, sadly, he'll be remembered for some of them as well.